Hey guys, welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV located here in Belton, Missouri. Today I have the privilege of showing you this beautiful 2024 Supreme Air. It's a 4530 model. Now this is going to be built on the M2 112 Plus chassis, so some nice little upgrades. Previous models had the 505 Detroit. This is going to be the 525 DD13. So 1,850 pounds of torque, tons of power to get you going where you need to go. Let's just start up here in the front. Just notice uh, just how beautiful this grill is. You've got this beautiful C9 grill. I think Newmar just did a great job of uh, dressing this out with their Newmar badge. Now you're going to notice the camera here. This is going to be part of that OmniView system that's going to give you a 360 degree bird's eye view. Now, as we come around the corner here, uh, the first set of tires that you got up here in the front are 365s. Now these are just some big, beefy monster tires here. It's going to add to that next level of comfort. And uh, I mean, it, is, it can handle a pothole, no problem. But try to avoid them if you can. Now, as we get ready to look at this first bay, this is going to be your fuel tank. It'll have a 100 gallon fuel tank. You've got your death fuel up, your Oasis system there, very convenient to get to all your fluids. You got an air chuck. And then this bay is going to be for your chassis batteries. Now I do like how they've actually enclosed it. It does help keep your batteries a little bit cleaner. And then next bay over, with, this is going to be set up with the lithium. Now the lithium batteries are going to be 640 amp hours. So you do get two 3000 watt inverters. That's very important. Uh, and then you do also have this uh, cooling system here. If the battery does start to get a little warm, it will keep the ventilation going. And you'll notice too, this lithionics box here, this is their never die. If your house batteries get too low, it'll go into sleep mode after 10%. Uh, if you got your auto gen set uh, turned on, then it will turn on automatically once it gets down to 30%. Now, next bay over, we got our power cord reel. And you do have a surge guard protection here. Now what I like about this is the placement of uh, the switch. So it is right here on the door. So you can, you can stand upright, it makes it very easy and convenient. I think Newmar did a great job of pushing, put it, put it, Newmar did a great job of placing that button on the door. Now our wet bay does have a nice digital display here. You've got your water, your lights, you can turn on your driver and security lights, you can turn on your generator. And uh, you do have a couple of electronic valves here, so by push of a button you can open up your black and uh, gray water valves. You do have a macerator here, so it'll grind up that sewage and pump it out for you. Now some people prefer a manual dump, it does have that option as well. So you can use the manual dump or you can use the macerator. You got your water filtration system, your hot and cold water, and then your fresh water is also on a power reel as well. Now, one of the things the Supreme Air has is docking lights around the coach. Does, the, does a great job of really lighting up the area. Now, you're gonna notice the two rear axles here. So you're gonna have two 295 80 22.5 tires in the front. They're gonna be Michelin. And then you got two more there in the back for the tag axle. So eight tires total. This is going to be a twin screw setup. So those rear tag axles are drive axles. Does help add to have eight tires pushing you down the road. So this is going to be a 12.5 kilowatt Onan generator. This is going to be plenty of power to power a small village. What's nice about having a generator that big You'll notice right up here inside the cargo bay, there is a 50 amp outlet. So if you've got a stacker trailer, maybe you're at a cabana that doesn't have power, maybe a neighbor needs power, they can actually plug right into your coach and you can supply 50 amp service to that trailer or to the, whoever needs it. So a lot of neat storage there. Now the Supreme Air does have uh, the ball set up already for you. We've got the two inch, the two and five 16 inch already set up for you. So you're ready to tow your stacker trailer from day one. And I do like how they've got multiple positions here. They got a low and high, so you can adjust the height of where you want to put that ball. You got a couple of air supplies here. So if your stacker trailer uh, does have air brakes, you can actually tie in some glad hands there and supply air to that trailer. 
Beautiful storage back here in the rear cap for the Supreme Air. And uh, I do like this. This is, you put oil, filters. If you're a big barbecuer, maybe you can put your condiments in there. So a lot of neat, a lot of neat ideas. Maybe you can throw a picnic table here, ladders. And I like how they have that raised lip right there so stuff's just not sliding off to the left or right. Great job, Newmar. Okay, so coming around the corner here, in a Super C, this is pretty rare. You don't, you don't usually see big pass-through storage like this. You definitely don't see a slide tray this big in a Super C. So, I mean, how you squeeze all that space in there, it's like Doctor Who's phone box, right? Just a lot of storage. Does have central back, so if you want to hook up a hose, clean out your cargo area, you do have that option. You do have a power outlet, power outlet down here, so you got you can hook up your blender. Does have the um, egress door here, so nice to have multiple ways to get outside the coach. You got your two front doors, you got your side door, then you got your rear door. So what is that? You got four doors total, but this does not always have to be an emergency. It's always nice to be able to pass through pass through items in the back of this coach just before you guys get ready to head out. It makes it pretty convenient. So as we get ready to come down here, I just want you to notice too the how the slide outs are flush. One of the things that Newmar is known for is just how their slide outs uh, flush. They kind of recess inside that wall, cuts down on wind. It really helps uh, prolong the gasket life and just makes it a neater look overall. Now this next cargo bay over is, it's not actually too big, but you know what? They do have toolboxes that you could buy that you could stack. And you know what? Every little inch counts. So they are really putting to use as much as they can the, the, the amount of storage space you can have in this coach. So another great storage space and you'll notice it does light up. All felt lined. One of the nice things about a Supreme Air is uh, everything has a nice finish to it. Now I do get people asking me every now and then on my videos what that hose is right there. Well you'll notice there on the side walls there's no rain spouts. So this is going to have rain gutters that are built into the roof. That way you don't get those ugly rain marks that kind of come down the side of the coach. Helps keep it looking good down the road. So I like the pegboard. So behind this pegboard is going to be your fresh water tank. It's going to be 150 gallon fresh water but what makes it nice it's not a whole lot of space here, but boy, it's sure convenient to put tools and make everything uh, usable. Now, just above this, you are going to have your outside TV, your Samsung uh, sound bar, and one of the other nice features is maybe you've been jamming out to tunes and you just really like what's going on there on the dash. You don't need any special software. All you have to do is if you want to take your dash radio and tie it into this Bose soundbar is take this switch and switch it over to dash radio and now you got your music coming out of your soundbar right here. So very convenient. Always nice to have a 110 outlet to charge your phone, maybe an iPad. Now whenever you get into an upper end model you'll know you're going to be moving in from a hot water tank to a hydronic heating system. This is what this has. It has the Oasis heating which is going to be responsible for heating the air but also for heating your water. And then moving into the Supreme Air, what they've done here is they've actually put this really nice vanity panel here. It's just Velcroed on. If you need to get to your hydraulics, it's just nice to be able to have it kind of hidden away. It's just a new more attention to detail. And you'll notice I'm not having to slam these doors. Newmar did uh, do a nice upgrade with these doors. They're a lot easier to close than they were in the past. And again, just more storage. So just tons of sport, store, storage here for a super seat. Now, when I open this door, I also want to point out the paint. So you'll notice how they got the paint there on the door jam. This is just something that is that next level. You'll notice up here where the door connects to the cab. They didn't have to run all that paint line there to match, but they, they did. And that's Newmar's commitment to quality. Just a great job. All right, guys, well, that's a quick peek of the outside. Now, we can go into a little bit more in-depth. Just give me a call. We can do a FaceTime video as we walk around the coach. 
would love to help you. But as we get ready to come in, I want to point out the keyless entry. So you can use this to unlock the door. You can use it to unlock the cargo doors down below. So, um, and then you've also got your key fob and then you got your key. So you got three different ways to lock and unlock this coach. Now, as I open this, I want you to notice, I'm gonna stand here in front of the step and you'll notice how it stopped. There's a sensor right here in the front and then there's a sensor underneath and that stops it. So that way, if it hits a, a human or if it hits a curb, um, it's not doing any damage. But what I really like about what Numar did, Numar engineers, is the spacing. So if it does hit a curb, it's nice and easily spaced so I can walk. It makes it very convenient to get in and out of the coach. You're not taking these weird, awkward steps. So again, props to Numar, uh, nicest steps in the RV industry. Okay guys, well, welcome to the inside of this beautiful 2024 Supreme Air. Now, before I open up the slides, one of the questions I get a lot is, hey, can you guys get me uh, a picture of what it looks like with the slides closed? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna demonstrate what this looks like with the slides closed. Now I'm gonna walk and you can see just how open this is. Now this counter is kind of cut in, so you could actually get two people that could kind of walk by each other. Now, I'm 260 pounds, so I mean, uh, you could get a couple people walking through here, but it's actually very easy to get through this, actually nice and open. And you'll notice uh, where I'm standing. I'm standing inside this cab, and I like how Numar extended this floor to be flush coming into the cab. So very nice, I can just relax, I can stand here, and just makes it very nice, very practical for everyday use. So, all right, we'll go ahead and get the slides open for you. Okay, she looks a little different with the slides open. Um, just wanna point out real quick, Supreme Air actually has some of the nicest views in the RV industry. Let me go ahead and bring this televator down because I want to I'll just point out the, the windows here. They are just absolutely beautiful. So if we look at from starting from the kitchen and we just kind of pan over and you just see all the windows. And I like how the, t the TV actually goes down into the cabinet behind the couch. So during the day, you know, you're not losing a window. So some of the best views in the industry. You got beautiful views, no hardware there in the doors. And now if you do need to get some ventilation, this window does open here, so you can get some air flowing through the coach. But let's start right up here in the front real quick. I just want to point out the seats in the Supreme Air are just absolutely marvelous. They are so comfortable. The bolsters, they've got the their heated seats, their air seats. Um, now this is a complete new cab for 2024 because we're on the M2 112 Plus chassis. If you can zoom in right where those buttons are, just look at that wood grain in there. It is absolutely gorgeous, just super clean. The button arrangement is so much better in this 2024. Now, um, this is gonna have the Detroit Assurance Package, so collision mitigation, lane detection, pedestrian detection, so a lot of neat safety features built into the 24 Supreme Air. But um, let's go ahead and start over here and just look at this. Uh, this does have the uh, recliners. Now these are not gonna be attached. So once you get where you're going, you can move those out, put them where you want, your preference. You got the hands-free cabinets. So um, these are all on struts and lots of, lots of deep storage in there. And I like how I don't have to hold the cabinet up, the cabinet door. Now across from these recliners, you do have a couch that actually breaks into a bed. This will sleep two adults. Got these beautiful sconces. And I like how with this accent lighting around this ribbon here, it's just very subtle. So when the lights are off, it's just an absolutely beautiful look. Now a huge bow sound bar. So very nice sound. You got your entertainment cabinet there for your, for your satellite, your DVD. I know those things are kind of going to the wayside, but if you still like to watch DVDs, it's already got all the wiring plumbed in there for you. Now, as far as the kitchen is concerned, we got a beautiful Whirlpool convection microwave. You do have the um, induction cooktop. They do have these nice cutting boards integrated. Now, what some people do is they just order an extra set of these from Numar and then store the originals away. So you can actually use these 
get all the scratches on them that you want and then you still have this beautiful set when you get ready to trade in or sell it. But what I really like is what Numar has done here is allow you to take your stove top outside. Now with induction, this does not heat up. This only heats up your pan. So it's extremely safe. You can go set that on your picnic table. You can get, do all your cooking. So if you're cooking bacon or fish and you wanna keep all that smell and that smoke outside, uh, just a great way to do it. So again, props to Numar. They're always, uh, they're very innovative coming up with a lot of neat ideas and I just love this utensil door just how big this thing is it is massive we'll get to it here in a little bit but this does have a king bed sleep number bed these are your controls you'll get two of them soft closing drawers lots of deep storage here does have some built-ins down below and I like how they light up so those are all soft closing as well you don't have to guess where the trash goes it's got a built-in spot for it and well you figure out what you want to put in there just tell me in the comments what you think what's a good thing you could store in there so i also want to point out too is the dovetail construction so very nice quality cabinetry all throughout the coach great storage let's take a quick peek look how this is a very wide cabinet wow i mean this video is just not really doing it justice but this is a massive, this is a lot of real estate right here, ladies and gentlemen. Adjustable shelving. You can raise and lower it to your preference. A little spice cabinet above. All right, and then across from the kitchen, we got a beautiful dinette. Now, one of my favorite types of dinette is this style with this deep counter space over here. So if you want, as you're sitting here, I like all this extra storage. So your beverages, your condiments, they don't have to be sitting here where you're eating, so it's not encroaching on your eating space. And again, I just want to preface the, the view. No hardware here obstructing my view in the window. Absolutely gorgeous. So now you're going to notice it does have a little knockout right here. So for all you telecommuters or maybe for your folks who just want to keep in touch with family and friends, you can set up a desktop down here below. It does have this little slide out and there is a there is a power outlet down here so you can uh, hook up your desktop run your cords up here and then set up a monitor maybe a printer really just kind of up to you how you want to use it it does have a lot of drawer space over here so um, if you want to keep some important documents with you as you travel um, you know maybe like a trade registration if you folks have a trade uh, this would be a great place where you can store your registration, maybe titles, um, great storage above. So um, now as we move through the coach, this does have a residential Whirlpool refrigerator. And I like the fact that they actually put a lock right here. So it's not going to open. You know, if you're taking a left, your groceries aren't taking a right. I do like the fact that it has a water filter in it so um, with the water being purified from the water filter out there in the wet bay and it being purified here in the refrigerator you know the water coming out of here very clean so one of my favorite things about the 4530 is the dual pantry so nice big pantry here to the left i love this one here as you notice it lights up as i open the door and i like how these actually lock into place again that beautiful dove tail finish work but listen to this lock I like how that locks into place. So this is not gonna be coming out as you're driving. Now, if you've owned an RV before, I'm sure you've experienced either a refrigerator or your pantry goods flying out, that's no fun. So you don't have to worry about that with the Supreme Air. Now in the coach itself, you're gonna notice we've got a couple of display panels here. This is gonna be control central. A lot of different ways to control this coach. And by all means, call me. We can go through a lot of this, but one of my favorite functions is coach mode. If you're, uh, you don't have, this takes, actually takes all the guesswork out of it. So if you're gonna be indoor plugged in, you just select indoor plugged in, you hit activate. It'll automatically detect the fact that it's indoors. Don't turn the generator on so you're not filling your shop up full of fumes. Uh, if you're outdoor, if you're dry camping, you can say, hey, outdoor unplugged and then activate and it'll automatically turn on the oasis it'll turn on the autogen 
It takes all the guesswork out. There's no programming for you to do. It's just that simple. A lot of other neat features here, like your batteries. So this will this will tell you. Um, now I've got the generator running, so as you'll see, it says remaining zero hours. If I turn the generator off, you'll say like, oh, there's there's like 48 hours left, or there's like three days and 10 hours left. So it's a nice way to detect on how much time you've got left on your batteries before they go dead. All right, so coming in here, this is gonna be the uh, first bathroom. This will be our half bathroom. Beautifully done. Got that awesome vanity, built-in mirror with the light integrated in the mirror. Overhead cabinet. Let me open that up for you guys real quick. This is gonna have, let's see if we can do this. Now this bathroom isn't meant for two people, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot here. So um, easy access to your fuses, your breakers. You do have a nice easily uh, displayed, very clearly labeled uh, all your breakers. And I like how it's all put away in this beautifully finished cabinet. So attention to detail, something that you would expect in, in a coach this level. Now, as we come into the master bedroom, you notice how open this is. Big, beautiful opening. I love the ceiling, all the treatment that they do here. The king bed, one of the things I love about the Supreme Air is this canopy. This is just on a whole other level, this big, beautiful canopy that they built out over the bed. All this additional lighting, not just in the ceiling, but in the canopy itself. So nicely done. You got windows on both sides of the bed, power on both sides, a lot of neat features, <laughs> and yes, you do get some storage underneath and you got your extra chairs. We might as well take a look. We've gone this far. Very nice, very plush, very comfortable and very sturdy. Now at the foot of the bed, you're gonna see we've got a couple of nice closets here. They light up quite nice. And everything's soft closing, even the cabinet doors. So, and then just below, we got some great drawer space. As you can see, all soft closing. And then, as we get ready to come into the bathroom, just notice this Wayne's cotting here with the chair rail and this smoked mirror. Just absolutely beautiful. Now in the master, ba master bathroom, as we come in, I'm gonna go ahead and close the door here. I wanna show you the, uh, everything's built by Newmar. And then I'm gonna have you look at this full length mirror here just on the other side. So if you guys are getting ready to, there you go. Hey everybody. So nice way to be able to see what's going on just before you guys get ready to head out for the night. You do have this exit door here. We'll give this a, again, a great way to exit if you need to, but a great way to pass goods through toiletries and all that other stuff just before you guys get ready to head out for your trip. You got your stack washer dryer and a beautiful vanity here with the integrated lights again. And then you also have power that's integrated inside the medicine cabinet here. Now, one of the nicest showers in the RV industry, I think Newmar does a great job with all their RVs, but you've got that nice uh, shower head there. You've got the handheld wand, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, dispensers. You've got your teak seat. I even like that little ledge down there. So if you need to shave your legs, you got a place to put your foot. You've got that nice big drain. And then if you didn't have enough storage already, you've got this additional storage here. Great closet space. You got your safe down here and very nice drawers down below. Well guys, that was a super quick peek here at this beautiful 24 Supreme Air. If you guys have any questions, by all means, feel free to reach out to me again, Lance Ortega here at Trans West in Belton, Missouri. You can reach me at 208-290-5750. I look forward to hearing from you.